Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't done it yet, go down and hit subscribe for us. Come back over and over again. See some amazing artists, authors, filmmakers, creators of all kinds here from ICCCon 3, hosted by Terrence Baker and the Independent Creators Connection. Um, we're here and we are hanging with comic creator James Bethel, the creator of Z Lunar Comics. Yes, how you doing? How you doing, James? Pretty good. Good Pretty to good. have you in the chair, man. How Glad you? to be here. Glad to be here. How's the con going? The con's going fine. Um, yeah? It's a little slow right now, but hopefully it'll pick up. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's talk about Z Lunar Comics. All right, Z Lunar. Z Lunar was an idea I had while I was um, in Iraq. Um, basically, me and a, one of my soldiers was talking, and um, we were talking about comic books and heroes and so forth. and. We were talking about what we would do if we made up a character, and that's how Z came into being. I wanted to have sort of like a black Superman, so. <laughs> that is fantastic. Uh, we've seen some of those pictures out yep. there. That's pretty cool. Um, how long have you been a creator? How long have you been writing? Um, about three, I think we're going on the fourth year because um, the whole thing started with me and Terrence Baker. Um, I was looking for an artist to do another project called Project November. Okay. And we met through mutual friends, and we sort of hit it off. We were like, hey, why don't we start a company? Awesome. <laughs> that's, you know, that's the best. You know, friends that decide, hey, let's go do this. Uh, in the creative arts, that's the best way to do it. Right. That's right. Um, so the, uh, I have a card there that I, it's random. I have no idea what it means. It might as well say blue, but it doesn't. It says Project November. November. What is that? Well, Project November is a... Um, group of super soldiers um, who were cross-trained as ninjas. <laughs> so it's almost like almost... Um, and you, f you can feel the army coming off of him, can't you? <laughs> you know, my guys out there that are with the, with the old 487 that watch the show just to support their old army buddy. There you go. Uh, you guys can feel the soldier. Cause if, if they said, hey, you can go to any school you want to, we'd say ninja school. Yep. We go to ninja so school. you got special forces <laughs> cross trained with ninjas, and they're basically indestructible, almost soldiers to boot. Wow, uh, that's that's a lot of awesome all packed into one thing. All right. Um, so, army. Army. Uh, twenty six years. Twenty six years. Outstanding. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm, I'm telling my son right now, Rob, see, 26, 26 you, you can do it. All right. Um, where can people find Z Lunar? And Project November. Um, and Project basically, November. Uh, Kablam is going to be on their website because basically that's where I sell online. But at any con I'll be at, I will have the mommy as well. Outstanding. Uh, so check that out. We're going to put links down below to you guys' web information, okay. all of that great stuff. Uh, are you working on anything new right now? The new coming down the road. The newest project will be Z Loner because it's not out yet. Matter okay. of fact, um, me and a friend Don Edwards, Don Edwards is the, um, the author with me, co-author, and he is also the comic book artist that's doing the story. So um, he's putting down the last pages, I think, as we speak, <laughs> and it should be available in a couple right weeks. Now, work. Why are you watching YouTube? Go to work. He wants the stuff. Um, okay, well, you know what? We're going to put links down so people can find your comments, they can find your art, they can find out all about you. Um, and now we're going to move on to the part of the show that I have come to call clickbait. Okay. I need a headline, man. Need, need that million view headline. It's going to drive readers and viewers. Okay, that's what we need. Readers and viewers. Readers and viewers. So, 
they go to the internet, find weird questions. I get to ask 26 year army veteran and comic creator James, your real life answer. Okay. It's gonna make us both superstars. Okay. As far as you know, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Which is most likely real, Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, or aliens? I think aliens. I'm right there with you. I think aliens is most likely. Bigfoot, too big to hide. Uh, yeah, but you got so many dense forest areas in the continental United States and uh, other other states that someone could hide, no matter how big you are. That's I true. Mean, That's so. true. You know, there's a new. Uh, well, I don't know if it's new, uh, but I, I started watching it recently on the the uh, one of the Hulu shows. That is what satellites see. Okay. And man, they see some. They see a lot, a lot these of days. <laughs> they see a lot of stuff these days. So I don't know if he could still hide anymore. He had to get in deep underground somewhere. Um, all right, so we love to learn. Okay. All right, and uh, as a former sergeant, I know anything can be taught to anybody. True. Just do it right. 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 Or do so, it the way I tell you to do there it. There you go. <laughs> or, or just do what you do. What you do told, what you right? do. <laughs> uh, so, teach me something. Thirty seconds. Something in 30 seconds. Mm. The proper push-up. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true sergeant. Hey, the proper man, push-up. Hey, front man, lean and rest position. Front lean and rest position. <laughs> Move. That's right. <laughs> As seen on TV. Okay. Those are those goofy, you know, the, remember, it used to be up a blue screen that used to come out on TV, and now, okay. now they're, they're all kinds of weird commercials. What's the last thing that you saw that you could only buy on TV or on the internet or something that you just had to have? Oh man, um, I just recently brought, but I don't think they televised that one. Um, a big action figure of um, Superman, Donna Justice, Ooh, and the Batman, sweet. and the oh, Batman those, figure. Oh, those are the great big, the big, the great figures. big ones. Yeah, man. But I didn't see them on TV. I just had to have it though. Just had, <laughs> that's that's going home with me. <laughs> we'll move the kids out of one of the rooms. We're taking that home. We're taking that home. Yeah. <laughs> if you could write yourself into any universe, any fictional universe. Just spend a couple days there. Where would it be? Ooh, I mean, I'm such a geek at heart. Oh yeah, <laughs> so that's, a hard, that's a hard question, but I it, guess there's a um, lot to choose from. I guess I'll go with the Batman universe. Batman right now, universe. Yeah. Ooh, Gotham. gonna hang out with Batman. Gotham. Hang yep. out with Batman and, uh, and Nightwing or Robin, whichever you prefer. <laughs> uh, and you know, chase real. You know, I think Batman has some of the best bad guys. He does. He has a good rogue, Most rogues great, gallery. There, there really are a great rogues gallery there, a terrific, because they're street level bad guys. Right. Generally speaking, in the Batman universe, nobody has come to conquer the galaxy. No. They're just going to take your stuff. Although, or hurt you. although I did see the crossover with um, on YouTube, Batman versus Predator. I saw, that, that was a good awesome. one. That yes. was good. <laughs> that, that is, I, I did not know what a huge... Uh, I had seen that, uh, oh wow, a while ago. Go, go, yeah. I had no idea what a huge impact there was. I saw a Netflix documentary on the making of that film. It's amazing. Amazing. As, uh, I, that is what we're here about, independent creators, right here, making it happen. happen. Making it happen. The internet has shifted the arts and entertainment paradigm. And it, it's made it so we can publish easier. It's made it so we can connect easier, easier. With, with artists and other art and creators. Um, and, and that's what we're celebrating at ICC Con. Yes, we are. Independent creators. Where are you going next? Where, where are gonna, people going to find you up the road? Ooh, that's a hard question because I don't do a lot of cons. Right. Um, hopefully, we'll be vending again on Calicon next year. Okay. Um, and maybe, hopefully, on Tapacon. Not awesome. this year, but maybe next year. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we will be looking for you. We're going to put links down below again to all of James's links, Facebook, Twitter. We're going to throw people at you, man. We're I hope so. Talk, yeah, I hope right? so. And uh, we're going to wrap it up as we do. We're going to say a special thank you to our partners and friends at Something Unique Magazine, Space Coast Comics, Wordfire Press, Famous Faces and Funnies, Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, and, of course, our great friends at the Independent Creator Connection here with Terrence Baker and the gang at ICCCon. I'm GW Pometer. We've been hanging with comic creator James Bethel. Remember, folks, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next. Oh, my God.
Thank you.